Welcome to our module on depreciation. Depreciation is the systematic allocation of the cost of a tangible asset to expense in the periods in which services are received from the asset. The effect of this journal entry is to de decrease assets and increase expense because as we use an asset, we're decreasing its expected future economic benefit. The journal entry to record depreciation expense is always a debit to depreciation expense and a credit to accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account. Therefore, this journal entry will reduce the book value of the asset and increase the expense. There are many ways to calculate the amount of depreciation. The most widely used and easily understood is straight line depreciation. Straight line depreciation is calculated as the cost of the asset minus its residual or salvage value divided by the total useful life. Residual value and useful life are both estimates. The residual or salvage values it's sometimes referred to is an estimate of the, of the amount that the asset can be sold for or at the end of its useful life. The useful life is an estimate of how long the asset will be used before it is sold or disposed of. So two estimates go into the calculation of depreciation. The cost of the asset is not an estimate, it's based on the actual amount paid for the asset. We have an example. We want to calculate the depreciation expense for an asset that was purchased for $55,000 with a five-year useful life and a 5000 residual value. The cost of the asset is $55,000 minus the $5,000 residual value divided by the five-year useful life gives us depreciation expense of $10,000 per year over the entire useful life. Our journal entry would be a debit to depreciation expense and a credit to accumulated depreciation of $10,000. The book value is cost minus the accumulated depreciation. Plant assets are shown on the balance sheet at book value or carrying value, which is cost minus accumulated depreciation. Book value represents the portion of the asset's cost that remains to be allocated to expense in future periods. An example of how the asset would be presented on the balance sheet is provided here. The building with original cost of $50,000 minus its accumulated depreciation of $10,000 gives us a book value of $40,000. Disclosures for depreciation are required in the financial statements. The method that was used to calculate the depreciation is to be disclosed in the financial statements. The consistency principle that we discussed in earlier modules states that companies should not change depreciation methods from one year to the next for a given plant asset. Estimates, however, can change. Management may change the estimate of useful life or expected salvage value, and if that, those estimates do change, then only the current and future accounting periods would be affected by that change in estimate. In review, depreciation is the systematic allocation of the cost of a plant asset over its useful life. Depreciation may be calculated using a wide variety of methods, but straight line is the most common. The book value of an asset decreases as it is depreciated. One thing that we haven't mentioned here is that book value does not attempt to match market value. Book value is simply the cost minus the amount that has been allocated to expense since the asset was purchased. Book value and market value are separate concepts, and the goal is not to make book value equal to market value. That concludes our module on depreciation.